Now let's go ahead and talk about uh, numbers two and three. Number two says open the molecular shapes simulation. I've gone ahead and done that. Right here. And then it says click on real molecules. Yep, there we go. And it says for each of the following, draw the shapes of the molecules as shown in the simulation. Make sure to show the lone pairs. Also note the bond angles. You may move it around before drawing it. Label each atom with its chemical symbol. So this is going to be H2O. You can see the different molecules you can do here. We want to show lone pairs. If we take those away, we see just the atoms. Oh, and we have then asked for the bond angle. And um, I'm interested in the tetrahedral, uh, or in the electron geometry, so I'll display that. And what you've got on your page is an attempt to, to draw what you see right there. And you've got the H's, the two pairs, and the O, and I've labeled each of the atoms. That you'll have to add as well. So red atoms are going to be oxygens, uh, and white atoms are going to be hydrogens, and here's our two lone pairs. You can move it around, you can draw it in any configuration that you want. Um, the, you know, there, the configuration I like is with both of the hydrogens down. Let's see if I can do that. There we go, we're almost back to where we were. And um, go ahead and fill in the bond angle is 104.5 degrees, what we would typically call less than 109.5. And the electron geometry is still tetrahedral. And you'll notice that since these are the exact same molecules that were in the first table up here, they should match. Go ahead and correct anything that's different. But go ahead and draw all of these molecules uh, just like I've drawn them here.